The virtual G20 Health Summit came to a close on Friday with EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen hailing a, a groundbreaking and historical day, while Italy's Prime Minister Draghi said the United States is likely to soon drop its restrictions on vaccine exports. Rich nation leaders and big drug makers promised to do more to bridge the sterling divide in fighting COVID-19, with an increased flow of badly needed vaccines for poorer regions. Lavishly funded mass inoculations were helping many wealthy countries slash infections, but few shots have reached less developed nations where the virus still rages, drawing accusations of vaccine apathide. The very first time there is the uh, admittance that climate change, loss of biodiversity and human activity expanding into wildlife is one of the breeding grounds or the forces that brings forward um, those pandemics. We, we have uh, discovered that uh, the complete openness of boundaries is essential to provide, uh, to produce vaccines, to produce them, in, as you can see from the pledges, in huge quantities, and to make sure they're going to be distributed to everybody. Uh, and for this reason, we have uh, uh, published today a contribution to the ongoing uh, debates uh, on how to address the gap in vaccines, diagnostics, and therapeutics that many developing countries face and help bring the pandemic substantially under control everywhere for everyone's benefit. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.